here and you love to shop blogs. My name is Joanne and we can also be friends on Instagram at shop blogs and I will link it down here for you. So today's video is a tag video created by Always Antoinette and thank you Antoinette for tagging me. This is such a fun video because I was able to think what is my top five um, handbags in my wish list right now. I have a lot of um, items in my wish list. I have been noting it down here in my planner and let me show you. I have I have a few actually. So here, wish list. See? I almost filled up three pages. The problem is every time I go to the store, instead of uh, focusing on what I have on the wish list and cross and buying whatever I have here so that I could cross it out. I keep on looking at the store and I would find something else. Something that caught my eye right at that moment and that's what I'm going to buy. So my, what happens is my wish list keeps on adding up. It's never ending. But I was able to sort it out. Um, hold on. Okay, so my in my wish list I have of course the mini crochet, the six key holder. So you heard all the items that I want, but it's not attainable right now. It's gonna cost a lot. It's too expensive for me to be able to get them right now. I just wanna be realistic. Maybe I'd be able to afford them one day. Thanksgiving's coming, there's gonna be a lot of sales, and also Christmas as presents. So, so the five luxury handbags in my wish list right now is first is a tote bag. I already crossed this out because I've been wanting to have a never full. I was also looking into getting the YSL um, tote and Fendi tote but I just realized that they are very, um, that the leather is so smooth. I think it's smooth calf skin. I'm not sure the, of the leather, but I know that I'm very careless with my bags and it's go I'm gonna scratch them easily. So I was thinking of getting the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So I already paid for it online and I used my PayPal and I checked out as a guest. Um, and I've been waiting for days and then my transaction just fell through. I called customer service and they couldn't answer me why, but every time I, I go online, like I buy something online, I just use my PayPal and it just, and the transaction just goes through. But with Louis Vuitton, it doesn't work that way. So I was kind of disappointed in that transaction. So um, if you watched my unboxing video, on the Bottega Veneta tote. That's what I got instead. And so I'm gonna be crossing out the tote bag, which is the first one in my wish list. And the second one, um, I want to have in my collection, the YSL Lou camera bag. I already have the, the Lulu. Um, but I still want to add a camera bag in my collection. Most of my bags are really small that I want a bag that would fit more than um, a Louis Vuitton clay, which I always use. A cell phone and my lipstick and a car key. So I want some, I want to be able to try to fit in a, a catch-all where I could put my mask, um, my hand sanitizer, lotion, or whatever I want to bring. So um, I think with all the reviews I've seen on YouTube, I really want to get that Saint Laurent Lou camera bag. I think that fits my needs. And the third one is the Hermes Picotin 18. I really, really, really love that bag. I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen it on YouTube and I've watched a lot of reviews on it and um, I already called Hermes before and asked about it and the SA told me that it comes in rainbow colors. So I'm really looking into getting the red or the orange color. 
And also, I watched a review by Be Fabulous With Me, Irene. And I really love her, her Hermes um, Picatin 18. And it is so nice that she used her, um, her the chain from her Cassie 19 and attached it to the handles. And it really looked nice. And some people I've seen, um, they even put, um, they even used the scarf or a twilly and use it as a shoulder bag. So after seeing those reviews, it's like all the more I wanted to have the Picotin 18 in my collection. So hopefully, I'm really, really wishing that I'd be able to get that for Christmas and birthday. Um, so I'm really saving for it. Or maybe my husband's watching, hint, hint. And the fourth, handbag in my wish list is the Chanel Boy uh, media in medium size I like it because it's so pretty I know there's a lot of reviews about it that says um, it's not uh, it's not worth it because it's it scratches easily or their hair when they use it their hair gets caught in the in the chains but to me it's not gonna be my everyday bag it's, it's something that I would use like going out on special occasions. So those little not so good things about it, I don't really care anymore. It's just so pretty and it's so edgy. I really like that. Um, if ever I'm going to get it, I want to have the black one in gold hardware. And I know that I would have gotten it already it's just that every time I go to Chanel I would always look for for other handbags I don't stick in my wish list and I just um, and my tendency is to get the bag that I liked at that moment up to now I still love the bags that I picked it's just that I would have crossed it out in my wish list already like I have another bag that I still haven't unboxed yet um, it's from Chanel also. It's just that maybe when I go to the store next time, um, what I should do is not look at the displays, not look at the handbags, just go and ask what I really want. Like go there and ask for the Chanel boy because I'm always distracted. At, uh, there's too much eye candies in the store. So I end up buying a different bag. The fifth handbag in my wish list is the Lady Dior bag. I like it in patent leather and in the small size. It's just gorgeous. I really, really love it. But I know that it's smarter to get the real leather instead of the patent leather because I know that in time it could be like if you're not really using it and because of the weather being hot or it's just staying in your closet it could get sticky or I don't know I really think that it's smarter to always get the real leather than the patent one but every time I go to Dior online I always get distracted with it with the saddle bags when I went to Las Vegas in January um, I was looking at that saddle bag the blue I really don't know the name but it's a saddle bag it's color blue and it's a crossbody set it's a crossbody bag I really like it it's so cute it's just that when I try to put my phone inside it's just too small it didn't fit so it was a no-no for me but I really want to have a saddle bag and the Lady Dior so those two so whichever comes first um, I'll be very happy with it. I really love this bag more than I want the Kelly or the Birkin actually. But of course, I one day I would like to have those bags. But right now, these are five handbags in my wish list. So thank you again, Antoinette, for tagging me. I will be linking her channel down below and also her video so you can watch it after this. You can also follow her on Instagram at Always Antoinette. So I hope you liked that video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you my friends on the next one.